Hello everyone, I'm popping on here again without any kind of thought or preconceived ideas about what I'm going to say, but that's usually when spirit just takes over and says the things. Um, I've just been watching actually a video which was a replay of a live that took place in the Facebook group which I've been talking about where we have a whole ton of holistic practitioners in there and it's just really beautiful like it's just a hub where there's so much information and so many people sharing their gifts their insight um, their experiences and um, yeah just a place of kind of like-minded individuals and um, I was just watching one of the talks on there um, which actually brought me to tears twice it doesn't take much but um he was kind of describing, I'm obsessed with NDAs, sort of near-death experiences, NDEs, yeah, NDEs. Um, and uh, I, I, I've spent, I don't know how many hours over, over the course of time. I haven't done it for a while, actually, but there was a time I was completely obsessed with watching all of these experiences because I was just so curious to people's experiences. I personally know that um, I've had a near-death experience myself. I've experienced uh, many things, um, seeing angels and, and, and seeing the other side. Um, and one of the gifts that I have is the ability to go there and come back just in my day to day, in my waking day or, or at night. I, I travel a lot at night, sort of in the astral. Um, and that I really do consider that a gift. But what I find beautiful is when somebody else's experience correlates or matches up with mine, it kind of brings me to this place of ah, oh, like it is real, <laughs> um, and it's so incredibly beautiful. Um, what I feel like I'm wanting to say in this moment, as I see you just have to start and then I start channeling, um, is there is so much more than what you are experiencing right now that I'm experiencing. I'm really feeling this sense. A lot of my songs um, recently have been sort of along the lines of destruction, <laughs> like tear everything down, like this, the world as we know it, the, the way things are working, the way things are existing, the systems, it's just all failing, it's just not working. Um, the, the food that we eat, the, the, the way that the, the education system works, you know, the, the healthcare systems, or all the systems, <laughs> politics, government, all of it is just failing us as as a whole. Um, there are, I'm not saying everything is terrible, um, but predominantly I find it very difficult to look at the way things are set up and not feel a sense of something drastically has to change. And um, I do believe that as people are awakening to spirituality and to themselves, you, you develop a, a higher sense of understanding of what's what works and what doesn't and there's so much that isn't there's so much that isn't working um yeah so a lot of my songs recently have been about tearing things down and i've had i've been in this transition i've spoken a lot about this transitional period of time and i'm not the other side at all yet and i i i've got this kind of like not frustration but this knowing that i'm kind of traveling slowly through this transition because things are having to alter in my mind Things are having to deconstruct thought processes and things that I've put up with or parts of who I am through this process of transition. They are just just having to fall away. And um, I really feel like that's going to resonate for so many people at this time. I think we are entering into what spiritual people would refer to as the new earth or um, and it's not a physical place, it's, it's, it's entering into a realm, it's entering into a place of higher intelligence, it's entering into a place where you are operating out of higher understanding, higher intellect, not in a pious sense of, oh, I'm better than you, but these old systems to me haven't worked, they're not working, and they haven't been working for a long time, and they don't serve us as, as a soul. They don't serve us on our soul purpose level. And um, so what I think is happening is, this is why people have these awakenings, that their old life sort of has to fall apart in order to 
start acting differently or, or becoming different. I was speaking to my partner last night. One of the, 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 the biggest points, the biggest crescendo in my life when I had my first awakening was, you know, it came through divorce and it came through abandonment. And it came through trauma and, and, and loss. Um, but from that place is the woman that stands in front of you today that isn't afraid now to get on camera and speak and teach and sing and, and, and dance and teach yoga and all the things. They didn't exist in that version of my life um, and so what I think might be happening for many and people are going to be searching and looking who who are the others where are the others that feel like me and I have this have this this unsatisfactory type of feeling like I can't live like this anymore this doesn't make sense to me anymore um, the way that we're eating the way that we're consuming the way that we're doing anything um it, it just doesn't resonate it doesn't resonate and i think in in order for things to rise up and be built again the old has to go and um that is on so many levels like so many levels and and part of that level is the old versions of you have to go i had an old friend actually message me last night saying you know that some one of my videos where i'm speaking about going back to your old town or going back to your old environments you you can't fit and you you won't fit and it does it's not to say that there's anything wrong with those places but you've outgrown it okay um in line with that i went i remember going back to where my old hometown and um physically not being able to fit my car in the in the um in the height restriction of my favorite view and um, I might have told the story, I can't remember, but it, Spirit clearly said, you, you can't fit into places where I've caused you to come away, to be set apart, to be different. Um, you've grown, you've evolved. It's like trying to put a baby back in your stomach when it's 18 years old. It's not going to happen um, because that baby doesn't need the womb anymore. And there's, there's parts of our life that we have to allow to grow and we have to allow ourselves to move on to the new um, and I think this time period for me it feels very it feels like a womb in a sense or it feels like a place where it's soft and it's 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 allowing us to lean in and to surrender into this time so that we can yeah like a nourishing like soil like a, a plant being put in soil or you know in school where you used to have like the cotton wool and then you'd put cress seeds on it and then you'd water it I feel like I'm in a place where I'm on that cotton and it's it's nurturing and it's got the it's got it's the right environment for the next version of me to start growing you know start like that little seed like the the, the sprouts are going to start coming and you're going to maybe oh <laughs> You're going to feel so relieved, so relieved because you're searching for something that doesn't exist yet. So you can't quite articulate what it is that you're searching for. But this is when you need to tune into your higher self because there's parts of me that I re I know there's things that I am going to do that I'm not doing this like I'm doing it in a, in, a, in a small capacity and it's building a foundation for what's to come. And everything that I've been doing is building for what's to come. And everything that you've been doing has been preparing you for what's to come. But you're going to be so relieved because spirit has got big things for you and different things for you. Things that are going to really, it's like you can chew on it. You can get excited about it. And where you're at now, you're not there yet. And so it's a bit like icky and like slightly frustrating but I just want to encourage you that the old is falling away for a reason um so don't be clinging or don't be tempted to turn back what's that bible story where Lot Lot's wife turned back and looked back she turned to salt it's like saying I, I still want that you don't want the things that are being taken away you want the new and um I'm excited to walk with you and talk with you as we progress through this period let me know are you going through this place um how's it look for you